Hi, my name is Ashish, and in this video, we will see write output, write data with output bindings in Azure Functions. So, as with input bindings, there are multiple types of output bindings. However, not all types support both input and output. We will use them anytime we want to send or store data. So, output binding types are Blob Storage, Azure Cosmos DB, Event Hubs, HTTP. Microsoft Graph, Mobile Apps, Notification Hubs, Queue Storage, SendGrid, Service Burst, Table Storage. So now we can combine input and output bindings. It is possible to apply multiple bindings to a single function. This allows us to define both input and output bindings and the input and output binding can even be the same binding type. So let me just quickly log on to the portal and take it from there. I am logged on to the portal and this is my function so in this video we will receive request to add bookmarks to our collection the request passed in the desired key or id along with the bookmark url so we will continue where we left on the uh, on the previous uh, video so we will create an http target function so i already created it inside my function app http trigger 3 and now i will add an azure cosmos db input binding so i will trigger on it in here i will go to my integration and this is my input so i'll click on add input and it is here and i will click on it azure cosmos db and if you get a message prompting you to install the microsoft.azure.webjobs.extensions.cosmos db extension select install and please wait for it to complete okay so this azure cosmos db account connection Setting should be pre-populated with the connection we created in the previous exercise. Okay, and click on okay. Okay, I need to, in the document ID, I forgot to mention the ID. Okay, so let me click on it again. save and we can i'm sorry i have to again edit it if you go there the collection name is bookmarks with capital b and the partition key is slash id and click on save and let's see if i have the function name cosmos db account connection document document parameter name is bookmark database name is one oh i think i did not changed these options in the previous video that is why i'll do it collection name bookmarks id add Uh, and if you would test it now just for the sake of input binding <clears throat> i'll test it afterwards 
so input binding is add in azure cosmos db output binding go with the integration you click on outputs add output this would be your cosmos db database details it would be new bookmark database name is funk learn dp Kyo DP collection name bookmarks partition key ID okay add in as your Q storage output binding. So Azure Q storage is a service for storing messages that can be accessed from anywhere in the world. The size of a single message can be as much as 64 KB and a Q can contain millions of messages up to the total capacity of the storage account in which it is defined. So on the integration, on the outputs, if I click on add output here and under binding type, I will do Azure Q storage Q name would be out Q output Q item storage account connection I click on OK so if I want to update my function implementation I would go So I go here, I select my HTTP trigger three function. And do this. I pasted the code, it says, welcome, you're now connected to the log streaming service. Change the timeout, executed function this. It is succeeded. So if you would <clears throat> see the code here, if you see this code, right? Am I getting in? Okay, so it, let me run it again. this one right so if you would see this code our azure cosmos db input binding attempts to retrieve a document or bookmark by using the id that we receives if it finds an entry the bookmark object will be set so if i want to do this and get the function url quickly no why it cannot reach this page And if I just replace the input I'm gonna create a run.ps1 file 
let's see if I'm able to upload it on the Azure here. And then dot ps1 and let me okay it this and now if I go to test run and input I do ID equal to dogs and I do URL HTTPS slash Azure run getting an error because I do this run oh, so it is not working right so if it would have worked I would have seen the messages in this my storage queues so if I have gone into the storage accounts I would have seen the message in the storage queues right so but I'm sorry I did not was able to complete this lab but you got the idea how did I do it so I'm really sorry I apologize for not completing this lab successfully but you know how this concept works right so if you have any questions please mention them in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video thank you have a good day